What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Victor and today we're going to be reviewing the Easy DYI Fab M.2 heatsink which is RGB 12 volt 4 pin connector. So I'm going to be installing this on my M.2 NVMe which I currently purchased recently due to my CPU and motherboard failure. So I had to go from Intel to AMD because it's obviously much cheaper, more consumer friendly. And my M.2 is just sitting in the open is you know there's no heat sink on it and I just happened to run through this on Amazon and this is a $14.99 application which is a simple M.2 heat sink and we're going to be installing this and syncing it up with all the rest of our RGB on the case as well as checking out the thermals and seeing if this is really something you should install on yours if you do have an M.2, which are a lot cheaper than what they used to be. And stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. So as we go through the unboxing, I just want to remind you to make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on a notification for future videos. Appreciate it. So let's see what's inside this box. It's a very small footprint, so can't be that many stuff in here. Okay. What you're going to get in the box. You're going to get a, uh, this is like an extension for the four pin RGB header. And you're going to get the clamps to keep um, the M.2 and the heatsink placed together closely. Oh, well, let's take out the actual heatsink now. And I see like a thermal pad right here. So this is the heat sink. And as you see here, this is the RGB bar that they have in the middle of the heat sink and it's black. They have this in many different colors. Um, I just chose black cause it's just, you know, it's more uniform. It looks a lot better. And this is a pretty long cable, which is a plus. So it's pretty kind of dry. The menu instructions for the heat sink, the M.2 SSD 12 volt RGB passive heat sink, as you see there. And they give you a picture by picture, step by step application setup system, uh, even on where to plug in your RGB header correctly. So we're going to move on to the next step, which is installing this on the M.2 and then installing the M.2 on the motherboard again. All right, guys, before we get started, full disclosure, I just want to say that I'm doing this on my rig and on my system that I've built. So be careful at your own risk doing this. I don't want you guys to damage anything on your computer. You know, maybe maybe taking out the M.2 or putting it back in, you might break it. Just, just be careful. Um, for this application, I'm going to be removing the M.2 label that I have, which is that one. It's very easy and simple to remove. Okay, as such, and then we're going to be applying the thermal pad on the M.2 first. Slightly, you don't have to put a lot of pressure onto this, just place it lightly onto the M.2. Right, so. You got to make sure you leave enough space and set it right in the middle so that everything that needs to be available to reinstall this is at the time. And once you place the thermal pad, you're going to have to take off the other laminated side so that our sticky part is, it's, damn it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. There we go. So here we go. Take this side as well off. And then I'm gonna be installing this as, yeah. Yep, just like this. It's gonna go on for me. Right, set it right in the mess centerpiece. Boom, perfect. Couldn't be easier. Set right in the middle. Everything that needs to be accessible it is. And then the clamps is the last piece of the puzzle, which is going to keep them together. So 
it going to, yep, just like that. It's gonna go in nice and easy. You don't have to put pressure onto this. Just push them in lightly. So for me, it's gonna be right there, which is just not much space in between the both, but good enough amount. And now we're gonna apply the other one, which is gonna go at the other end. Just keep things as even as possible. Again, you're gonna hear it clip and it's just gonna clip until it hits that spot. All right, so as I show you the M.2 fully installed with the heat sink step by step, um, this is the final product. This is how it's going to look and this is how it's supposed to look. You know, remember you gotta leave space on both sides of the M.2 so you can reinstall it back on the motherboard. But this is a very really simple application. Um, and just as a reminder, I did run, you know, temps on the M.2 before I installed the heat sink on it. And now I'm gonna run another one once I install it back with the heat, heat sink on, just to make sure that this is something actu that actually works and it's just not for show, you know, for RGB sakes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah let's get to that part all right guys so for this part i'm using two softwares to run thermal test on the m.2 prior to installing the heat sink and i'm using crystal disk mark and crystal disk info and if you, as you see here i'm running a test a read and write test on the m.2 as i'm checking to see if temp rise more than 47 C at the moment without the heat sink. And we're going to be moving on to the other part when we're going to see the big difference on the heat sink applied to the M.2, which is a big difference to me. And this will prove positive feedback from my side. All right, guys. So the temperature on the M.2, as you see here, went from 47 prior to installing the heat sink on the M.2 was at 47 C now it's sitting at 33 C and that's without even running any read or write tests, which I'm about to right now, as you see, and this is definitely worth putting on your M.2. If your M.2 does not have a heat sink already, this is only 14 bucks. So and the installation is pretty fun and easy to do pretty cut and dry. Uh, easy DYI has something good right here because it's not just an RGB application is just going to put an end up too so you could make your pc look better but you know this definitely does the job i mean that's 30 percent decrease in temperature which i mean i'll take any day of the week other than that guys i appreciate everyone coming through please leave your comments and questions below i will leave the link to everything in this video below as well as if you had guys have any questions i do stream on twitch every night from 7 to 10 and the link to my Twitch channel will also be below, you know, come through whenever you can ask a question, drop a follow support. And if you guys enjoyed the video and it was informative for you and you liked it, please make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, turn on notification. And next will be the light. So you guys I hope you guys enjoy. I'll check you guys in the next one.